Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So today, we're going to be quality controlling some Dunlops, specifically these Dunlop CX Tour 18x20s that Kevin Anderson endorses. Hang tight. So guys, I'm so excited because I actually love these rackets. Um, the C CX200 Tours 1820s, got three of them, and they are all three eights, as you can see by the threes. They are now run by Shrixon, which is Japanese, but still made in China though. Um, British company, here, here's the deal. British company Dunlop, bought by Japanese Shrixon, right? Still made in China, okay? You guys get that? I'm gonna test you at the end. All right, anyways, I got three rackets here, three eights. I'm gonna cut these pockets off. I've numbered them already, so I'll show you. One, two, three, okay. Cut them off. Okay, placards are off. I'm gonna leave the plastic on because it's not gonna matter because they're all three gonna have plastic. Okay, we'll start with number one. Number one on the balance board. Number two. Shirt number two. Number two. there because it's about to float 306 number three Six. That's a rarity, but we're not done yet. Let's hit the scale. At the scale. Three fifteen. Numero uno. Swing weight. Two eighty five. Fourteen. Swing weight. Two seventy nine.
looking for number three number three Three eleven point five. Swing weight. Two eighty. All right, so let's go analyze these three. So this is the top end stick from Dunlop, as you guys know. The, definitely the player stick, the one Kevin Anderson endorses. Probably not the one he plays with, but as close as you're going to get. Just like Roger's racket over at Wilson. Okay? So you would think quality control would be a must here. Um, so let's see what we got. The first thing that was striking to me was this... The balance was perfect on all three, okay? The weight, not horrible. I mean, these two are I mean, close as you're going to ever get, right? This one's just a hair off. Um, swing weight, little, as we all know, it's a little bit harder to control swing weight, especially when it comes stock like that uh, before you customize anything. So um, obviously the first one's a little heavier, then you got these two, which, you know, almost match, right? So this is probably about as good as you're going to get in stock rackets. So I would say these numbers are very, very close to another Japanese company numbers. Yonex, right? Because if we were doing other companies rackets they probably wouldn't be this close they're usually a little farther apart uh, sometimes you have one that's ultra light and then another one that's kind of ultra heavy right so 10 grams apart sometimes you know not out of the ordinary but i can see that they took a little time and effort to make them as close as they could kind of the japanese way right um, Yonex is like that. They kind of make sure it's as close to spec, if not spec, when it leaves the warehouse uh, so that you get a quality control product that is as close to, if not on spec. Uh, so this, I mean, this is about as good as you're going to get, is what I say. Now, the final thing is me swinging it. So let's see how... If I were to match two of these, which one I would choose? Let's go with number one first. This is number one right here. Okay. Number two. Number three. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, one and two, one and two actually feel real close. This one and this one. If I were to pick two for somebody out there that came into the store, one and two would be definitely the ones. I would pick two to, two to match for you. Um, the third one was a little different. The third one... I could definitely feel that it was it was lighter in here, in the handle into the throat, and then it was it weighed up a little more up top. So way to weight to here and then weight here. So it was missing a little something right about here. Uh, whereas these two kind of felt just even weight here all the way to the end. So just for me swinging it, that's what I felt. Yeah, yeah. This is feels like there's a slight gap in weight right about here on the third one. 
So if I were to choose two of the three rackets for you, I would definitely choose one and two. Okay. All right. So Dunlop quality control looking good guys looking good. So uh, if you guys are interested in these, these are great rackets. I'd get them if I were you. All right, guys. So that's the CX200 Tour 18 by 20 by a Japanese Shrikson English Dunlop and manufactured in China. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.